You know how you got here? I just remember the EMTs saying they were bringing me to the hospital. It appears that you uh, fell off your bike when you're biking home from your college class. Um, your bike tire got stuck on the trolley tracks. Really? Yeah, that's why uh, wearing a helmet's important. Could I ask you some questions? Um, sure. Uh, what is your maiden name? I don't know. Okay, uh, your hometown? I, I don't, I don't know. It appears you have some uh, memory loss. In your case, we call that retrograde amnesia because you can't remember past events. We're going to run some tests, okay? Patient number one, uh, Krista Malara, has retrograde amnesia. She can form new memories and can remember her uh, nurses and doctors, but she has trouble remembering her last name and her hometown. Hello, Jennifer. How are you feeling? Um, I'm a little foggy. Um, who are you? I'm your doctor, Dr. Carver. Uh, you had a minor head injury, and it seems you have some memory loss. What's the last thing you remember? I remember the baseball game. We were three points ahead, and after that, it went all black. Where am I? You were at a university medical center on the third floor. You were playing a baseball game? and you got hit with a ball. You're gonna be okay. We just wanna keep you here for a couple of days to make sure you didn't sustain anything more serious. Uh, from my chart, it seems you have anterior grade amnesia, so new events might be a little harder to recall. Patient two, Jennifer Felix, demonstrates anterior grade amnesia. She has difficulty forming new memories, but can remember events in the past.